All right, this video is going to be about phase modulation. And, you know, as you see on the front panel, <laughs> the assimilator is a multi timbral phase modulation sampler. And Dave Rossum claims in his manual and has claimed it live. And, you know, it's a beautiful thing that uh, he feels that basically nobody has taken advantage of phase modulation in a sampler. And uh, I believe he's the first one who's done it. So. Cheers, Dave Rossum. This thing's amazing. So phase modulation, honestly, I find it very hard to explain. And uh, in the manual, um, at the very end of the manual, he's got an intro to phase modulation. And I've read this thing like seven times, and I just, you know, I get it. We're talking about modulating two sounds and altering the timbre, the characteristics, with the original sound and the modulator. And gets me talking about FM synthesis that I just don't feel capable to talk about well. So I'm just going to show you how it works. And um, he does also encourage in the manual to just experiment and stack sounds and phase modulate them with each other so I'm gonna show you how to stack them up and do it and uh, I encourage you to experiment and have fun with it okay so maybe in like an, another year once I understand this better then I'll make an updated version of phase mod okay so here we go so I'm going to we've played with this sample before this is fine Okay, I'm going to load up this little synthy patch and I'm going to turn this to link. And uh, it looks like it's calling on the right one now, so I'm going to change it to the left. So basically, <laughs> now it's loaded again as a stereo sample. All right. Okay. So you can see that we have channel one calling on the sample and then channel two I've got the same sample there being linked to one so when you ping one you'll see them both light up right? All right. So I'm going to turn this one on this loop mode there and then I'm also going to do the same with this one now, one thing that I want to do is I'm going to go to 2 here, and I'm going to go to Pan Mix, and I'm going to turn him all the way off. Okay, so we're not going to hear that one play. And then in channel 1, I go to Phase Mod, and I'm going to Phase Modulate channel 1 with the sample that's playing on channel 2. So the modulation source, it can come from any channel, including the channel which you're working on. So you could modulate with your own channel. It can come from one of the two sampling inputs, which is amazing. Or you can make a phase mod source be any of the CV. So for this example, I've linked to a channel under it, and we're going to phase mod with that channel. And I've had various luck, <laughs> and not luck, um, phase modulating with the same sample, phase modulating with, with a different sample. Instead of a sample, I've just gone to a CV source, and then chosen it here, and ran crazy modulation into one of the CVs. Right. So in this case, I'm going to just modulate with the same sample on a different channel. Stay with me, which is channel 2. Okay, And we know that I set that to be playing and to be volume off. So the phase modulation index is interesting. This is the one that sets the intensity of the modulation source's effect. All right, And you can also, of course, CV that. So let's just give this a little bit of gas. Well, first off, let's just play 
with no phase mod. So it's, it's phase modulating itself through channel two, through its own source, with no index, right? So I'm gonna slowly turn this up, and you can hear the effect start. So this is just a little bit. And you can see this goes all the way up to 256 samples. So it's just a little bit of gas. In this instance, it works. And again, you can CV this. So you could put a slow LFO on this and it would fade in and out of this effect, right? I'm just triggering this here and keeping it sort of simple. But you should have some ideas going off in your head right now. Okay, so what if it wasn't the same sample? I think it'd be actually funny to pull in that sample of me counting. Let's do this one. I'm going to turn this off because it already set it up as its own like stereo stereo channel. So remember, this is this is turned off. Okay, channel two, I'll just show you again in pan mix. This is turned off. It's not coming out of here. All right. So this should actually be kind of interesting. So I'm going to play channel one and listen to how two is phase modding this now. Again, just a reminder that channel two is turned off. Unbelievable. So that's, that's proving how phase modulation is working. Because we know that channel two, where I'm counting, is turned off. There's no audio coming out of that. So <laughs> it's literally eating into channel one. Let me turn it up and hear more. Be really neat to put a drum loop into channel two and hear that eat into a synth pad. All right, so there's a little intro to phase mod. There's a lot more that <laughs> could be shown. Um, actually, let me just show you one more thing really, really quickly. In the demo folders that came on the card, there's one for phase mod, and the demos in this are just unbelievable. Um, like in this one, he's got, these are all phase modded down. So master link, master link. So a trumpet is being phase modded by a piano. A bassoon is being modulated by a violin sample. All right. And, uh, they just sound amazing. All right. So if you go to phase mod and turn this index all the way down, this is what the trumpet sounds like by itself. All right. I think they had it at 32. Amazing. And one other thing they did on this preset, which is kind of fun, is they mapped um, the data um, encoder to 1A, which they linked to pitch. <laughs> on the first sample, so you can do crazy stuff like this. <laughs> so trumpet is being phase modded by a piano and pitch shifted. There's a bassoon being phase modded by a violin. I think you get the idea. Um, as Dave uh, encourages in the manual, I would encourage you also just to stack up sounds and just see what twists what in ways which you might like. It's amazing.